want to make a couple comments about leadership. And I hope this is helpful in your jobs and all the stuff that you make and sell to help make the United States and the world a better place. But GDP is about 80 trillion, 80 to 85. So that's, so when we're all making and selling, that's how much there is for the whole world. So somehow we all split that up. The United States has about 20, 22 percent of it. At one time, the United States had 40 percent of it. Can you imagine how, how dominant that, that was? And it comes back to people. It comes back to ideas, and it comes back to entrepreneurship. Those are the two things. When you fuse those together, you get world growth, and you get human development, and you get peace, and you get families, and you get all the good stuff. It's changed. So those are no longer the great American dream. And it's especially, I think, driven by millennials and to a great extent by women in the, in the workplace. If you look at three societies, I'm going to do China, India, and Japan, because they're the ones that are stuck back the farthest of, of really important societies. And we were just talking about this for a second. But <clears throat> it, it's, it's really hierarchical and, and top down. You gotta, be real care you gotta be real careful about that. But if I tell Jeff to do something, I tell Raul to do something, and you go, well, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't need to to you, because I do the thinking, you do the doing, you know, or I get ideas, I don't do work, you do work. You get the point? <clears throat> That's a long way from being a coach. So maybe what I say to Raul, rather than shut up and do it, Maybe I say to him, Raul, you got a couple strengths I really need this next month. We need a breakthrough in uh, Berlin. I'm going to put you on a plane to Berlin. you got to go fix this. You, one of your best themes is restorative. You've been able to fix anything, and here's what I want you to do. And then I really coach you. When you get there, we've got a miserable team. We've got a client that's mad. Can you do this and that? Then you and I talk. It's not unlike preparing for a, a big football game, a big soccer game, a cricket game, whatever, in that you watch game, we watch game film together. And I tell you, don't do this. Make sure that you go over here and that kind of a thing. But you see what I am? I'm coaching him. I'm not bossing him. It's, it's tricky, but I think the whole world's got to move to that for you coach. But why am I coaching him? Because he knows Jim's really trying to help him win. And at the very end of the day, that's why you want to develop, because you, you, want, to, you want to win more. It not only booms and explodes human development, you also can save a billion, do <clears throat> you also can save a billion dollars.